Biomedical students at Bladensburg High School had never heard Runaway, Del Shannon's 1961 hit. The way Dr. Francis Collins sang it, with new lyrics about DNA, the tune became instantly memorable. The former director of the Human Genome Project and now the head of the National Institutes of Health came to Bladensburg recently to encourage careers in science with his singing voice, his intellect, and his charm. So oh, there's this group of speakers, we're called the Nifty 50. I don't know how nifty we are, but I was fortunate enough to be put on the list. And uh, here I am at Bladensburg High trying to share some of the excitement that we at NIH feel right now about the way in which science is rocketing forward. With information on how genetic discoveries are leading to the treatment and often cure for diseases like cystic fibrosis and forms of blindness, Dr. Collins painted a tantalizing career picture for students, many of whom are already enthralled by science. He's supposed to come to the stop sign and stop, but he doesn't want to stop. He's doing a good job. He's going to go right on out the door. Now that is a dramatic change in this boy's future. Uh, and this is, he's not the only one. This has now become a standard approach for this particular kind of blindness. So if anybody tries to tell you gene therapy is science fiction, not for Corey. Um, I've been here since my freshman year. And um, I've been interested because my brother was in it. And um, I had a chance to work with Dr. Wilson, who's here today, on um, some bone research. And um, that really got me excited about science and engineering and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, now I'm going to be going to, off to Rochester Institute of Technology to major in engineering. So I'm really glad this program you know, helped me find out what I wanted to do. But I'm only a sophomore in high school, so I feel like I have time to decide what I'm going to major in. But I'm definitely going to be in the medical field. And I feel like the the biomedical program has helped me because it immerses you in science and cultures and medicine and biological research. Admitting that a science career wasn't necessarily in his genes, Dr. Collins hopes that he'll be the same kind of inspiration that a former teacher was to him. I wasn't interested in science until 10th grade when I walked into a science class, it was chemistry and I had a teacher who suddenly opened up this world to me about how science could be an amazing detective story. That science is a way of figuring stuff out, going on an adventure, being a detective where you know there's going to be an answer but you have to use your mind and your skills and sometimes your hands to do experiments and ultimately you get answers and wow that seemed like something it would be worth spending your life on. For the 160 students in Bladensburg's biomedical program, jobs in science await, whether they can carry a tune or not. We know that the jobs are going to be in the biomedical field. Uh, employers are looking for kids with high technical skills, and I think this program provides that. So many of these kids will be able to leave this school and go directly into high-paying jobs or go directly into a college um, for a professional career. For channels 96 and 38, this is Dave Zarin reporting.